In this lesson, we want to deal with UVs for 3D object in 2 in motion. In this scene that you see, we have a sword and some other simple and ordinary models. We go into the C4D. As you can see, this sword has UVs, which means that our 2D model is open in some cuts. And we can place texture the 2D move on it. It's very important when we want to <clears throat> the texture to be fixed correctly in an object. You must have done this in your software before exported. It does not matter what 3D modeling software you use. Then going back to the to in motion, if you look at this part here. For UV, its mode is by default from object UV, that is from your 3D model software. Now we give this sword a textured material from the library. For example, this wood material. As you can see, it import correctly. From the scale section, you can adjust the texture on the object. Okay, as you can see, you can fix it on an object. Please pay attention to this image. When a texture wants to be placed on an object, each software has its own UV engine called UV projection, which, uh, which does its job in a different mode. <clears throat> the simplest and first mode is planner. Here you will be understand how it works easily. Suppose this rectangle is a texture that is to be placed on this sphere. The planner mode throw the texture in a direction exactly to 2D position and it causes the edge of the texture, the edge of the sphere, create a straight face. Planner mode is suitable for 2D object. The next mode is cubic. As you can see, its mode is used to in most objects because the texture is thrown directly at the object from all directions. The next state mode is cylindrical. Of course, it is suitable for cylindrical objects. And the next mode is spherical. And of course, it is suitable for spherical objects. Well, now back to the software, we want to put a texture on this cube that has no UV. The only point here is that you have to select a UV mode before inserting the texture. First, we do this by default UV. And for example, this is stone. You choose a stone and <clears throat> click and drag on this cube. Okay, as you can see, we change the mode to cubic and do it do the texture again you can see the difference now the place texture exactly at the sides in a cubic mode for example this sphere we also test different mode for it that the suitable mode for a sphere call is, of course, a sphere call mode. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.